Grand Theft Auto 6 is now releasing in fall 2025. This was announced on their parent company, Take-Two Interactive's earnings call that happened just the other day. And alongside that earnings call, CEO and Chairman Strauss Selnick did some interviews with a handful of various media outlets and websites and talked about the new release window for GTA 6. And I want to go through some of the things that Strauss actually had to say. Now, before we dive into the interviews that he gave to various media outlets, he actually went on Wall Street at Self earlier this morning on CNBC and did an interview on the TV show Money Movers to discuss the company's quarterly earnings results and how confident he is for fall 2025 for GTA 6. Take a listen to this interview right now. Have, uh, take two CEO Strauss Zelnick. It's great to have you back, Strauss. Nice to be here. Straight seems to understand the story, at least at the open. Would you would you argue that? I think that's right. Yeah. And, I, and it's a great story after all. Um, how do you know creatively what the timing is going to be. Is it, is, it a, is it a judgment call? I mean, is it an obvious logistics call? Talk about the timing of the release. Um, there are elements that you can actually measure, for example, the number of bugs in, in a title. And you know, every one of us will make sure that we have as few bugs as possible before we launch. Uh, however, in the case of an, an extraordinary title for which there are extraordinary expectations, it's not really about bugs. It's about creating an experience that no one's seen before. And Rockstar Games seeks perfection in what they do. Perfection is, is indeed hard to measure. It really is more subjective than objective. How confident are you in, in fall of 2025 in that forecast? I mean, you just gave um, the original, which was the full year, right. potential release in February. So what degree of confidence? Well, there have? is slippage in the industry, mm -hmm. uh, and we're not immune from that. However, we narrowed the, the timing because we are highly confident in that timing. Are there any clues you can give us about the game? I mean, I know it's, i got to be very careful, but there must be some way to characterize what will be different and new for, for a consumer. Um, well, look, the trailer's out there, <laughs> yeah. and the trailer broke the Internet. So I recommend, <laughs> if you have a question, go watch the trailer again. It's awesome. It, it, it actually does. It does tell you what's new and different. So really quickly, the very first thing he mentioned was sort of the rebound of their stock price. It dropped significantly after the initial announcement of the game coming out in fall 2025. But once the markets opened earlier today, they have skyrocketed back up. This is just sort of the ebbs and flows of markets and stocks and how things work. But he did seem pretty positive that it has rebounded. So at the very end, he got a little bit skittish, obviously didn't want to reveal anything. And I don't even know if he knows anything that would be considered breaking news. But again, he seems extremely confident in the fall 2025 release window. Something has happened over the last couple of months that has given him the confidence to say, okay, now it's going to be here in fall 2025 versus just being broad in saying 2025, which again, you have to consider is great news. And we begin with IGN. As Strauss Zelnick said this, we do feel highly confident that we'll deliver Grand Theft Auto 6 in fall of 2025. And that was his response when IGN asked him if there was a concern that GTA 6 may get delayed. And this is something we talked about in my video the other day. I do believe that GTA 6 was internally delayed. So I feel like that's why Rockstar gave us the original date of just calendar year 2025, because it gave them the option to shoot for early on in the year, at least middle on in the year 2025, with a fallback option of fall or winter 2025. And now, because Take-Two Interactive has publicly announced fall 2025, Rockstar didn't have to come out and say, yeah, there was a delay, even though internally there might have been. Externally, for us, there was nothing other officially announced than just calendar year 2025. And this is something I talked about in my previous video. It does feel nice to hear this sort of confidence from Strauss Zelnick, the fact that he doesn't believe there's going to be a delay and that he is highly confident it will still arrive in fall of 2025. Now, moving on, let's hear from the website Variety. Strauss Zelnick said this in regards to more information about GTA 6. He said, I think we're going to leave it there for now, going on to say that announcement will come from Rockstar and be consistent with the way they are marketing the title. Which is so interesting because the way they revealed Fall 2025 to us is something they've really never done before. 
Take-Two Interactive broke that news. That didn't come from a Rockstar Games press release or a newswire where they said, hey, GTA 6 now scheduled for fall 2025, kind of like what they did with Red Dead Redemption 2 when they announced it was going to be getting a slight delay into 2018, and they kind of softened that blow a little bit by providing some information about the game and releasing some screenshots. I'm shocked that they didn't do anything like that, but he does say that from here on out, Rockstar Games will be marketing the title as usual and that the announcement will come from them. And on the actual earnings call itself, you guys might recall that Strauss Zelnick said that the announcement from Rockstar will come in the fullness of time for whatever that means. I'm sure you could analyze that phrase 50 different times. Long story short, it probably just means something is going to be happening soon. And then from the website gamesindustry.biz, Zelnick acknowledged the increasing expectations around Grand Theft Auto 6 but declined to confirm whether those expectations are now larger than any of the other games the company has previously released, saying, I couldn't be more enthusiastic than I am about Grand Theft Auto 6 and everything it can bring to consumers. I couldn't be more excited, but I'd probably stop short of establishing any expectations. As a practice, we prefer to talk about success after we've had it. So again, this kind of goes back to Strauss sort of just doubling down on his excitement and enthusiastic level, and certainly his confidence not only in the title but also likely when it's going to be coming out take two is super conservative as you just heard right there so i don't feel like they would have announced fall 2025 if they weren't supremely confident in that now moving on there was also one question from the earnings call that i forgot to show in my previous video let's go over it right now it comes from Omar Dasuski saying, I think a lot of people are going to be super excited about Grand Theft Auto 6 coming out. Do you make any assumptions about the perhaps reacceleration of growth in the console installed base or console sales, you know, because your titles may, you know, bring a lot of lapsed gamers back into the ecosystem in your forecast. And Strauss says, yeah, we're using IDG's projections, which are pretty substantial. So for Gen 9 alone, the view is that there are about 81 million consoles currently worldwide. That was at the end of last year. They project that will rise to 111 million by the end of the year and 175 million by the end of 2027. Now, you know, we don't necessarily subscribe or not subscribe to those views, but that shows an awful lot of growth and we do expect a very significant attachment rate. And that little interesting factoid right there might be another reason why Rockstar wants to get this out the door in 2025 as late as possible because it gives that much more people the opportunity to get their hands on a PlayStation 5, an Xbox Series X or S, or a pro version or an enhanced version of both those consoles. And at that point, it's just simple math. The more people that have those systems, the more likely they are to get GTA 6, which is more money for Rockstar and more money for Take-Two Interactive. And last but not least, where I want to end today's video is a statement from Rockstar Games Insider Tez Funds 2, who's responding to someone talking about this entire topic. Well, I hope this isn't Take-Two putting pressure on Rockstar to release the game on said time frame. I really don't want to see a Cyberpunk 2, a good game behind a plethora of bugs and issues. And you know what else this type of pressure results in? It rhymes with brunch. He's basically talking about crunch. With Tez Funds 2 saying, early last year and prior to that, Take-Two was hoping for the game to be penciled in for a late 2024 release window, since executives love big sales boosts. But that was unrealistic internally and would end up being pushed back. We went from that to spring 2025 to fall 2025, Red Dead Redemption 2 cycle of delays. If there was actual pressure, we would have had the game by now and experienced a cyberpunk. So that kind of builds what I was talking on earlier. Yes, there was likely internal delays, but nothing that we would officially see externally. It just went from 2025 to fall 2025. But this is, at the end of the day, a good thing. Cyberpunk is now an amazing title after years of being updated and having bugs fixed. But it was put out too early, and it was one of the worst launches of all time. And you know for a fact that Rockstar doesn't want that since they're seeking perfection, nor does Take-Two Interactive. So that's all the information information that I've got for you guys in this video today. Hopefully you did enjoy. I'd love to hear from you guys in those comments down below about Strauss Zelnick on his TV interview, the comments that he made to various media outlets, and a whole lot more. If you guys did go to enjoy this video though, a like rating would of course be awesome. And be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel if you are new. You want to stay up to date on all the GTA 6 videos that I'll be doing here on my channel. And be sure to ring that notification bell as well. Sometimes YouTube just doesn't work and if you ring that bell, you'll always be guaranteed to be notified when new videos arrive. 
But of course, as always, guys, thank you all so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you guys in the next video.